Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. It's been a while since I made the last video. Many things have happened. I believe you guys know about the hacker on the last week. Thanks to them, we get more life piece for Ayaka later. But the most important thing is the leak, okay? I believe some of you guys already read it on Reddit, GameFAQ, Discord, or other Final Fantasy Breath XVS site. However, if you haven't, then you may find this video useful. Also, make sure you take this info with a lot of salt because Gummy may change the plan, but I doubt it because it probably doesn't affect them at all. So let's start with the last week of September, okay? According to the leak info, on this week, we will get another farming event. And that is the Final Fantasy XV King's Glaive. Actually, I'm not sure which will come first, Ayaka or King's Glaive banner. I will explain later why I think this will come up first before Ayaka. If my prediction is true, then this is a good thing because we can get 10 more tickets for Ayaka in the future. But remember, because this is a farming event, you will need to pull some units. Luckily, the banner has some good units. I will talk more about them later because yeah, when the official announcement available, I will make short review like usual let's move to the next month october like we already know that farming event lasts for two weeks so on first week of october i think yeah we still on king's glaive event with a new king's glaive trial challenge like other previous farming event there is also a possibility for autumn moon festival According to Google, Autumn Moon Festival happened at 4 October and according to the hacker, we will get a wrap up for Orlando, Mercedes, Luca, and Extend. Some also say Link will be included on that banner. If that's true, then I suspect that we will get Link's Awakening on this on October, okay? Because if not, I believe no one will pull her now, okay? Because yeah, let's face the fact. She was pretty good hero back then, but now we already got Warrior of Light for breaks and a lot of MP batteries such as Aria and Charlotte. So I think we will get her awakening too, so those who haven't got her have an incentive to draw her. And finally, on the second week of October, we finally get the Ayaka banner. This banner is very good. And I don't think I need to say anything about her because you have already known that she is the best healer in the game. So if you want to try your luck, then yeah, better start saving your tickets from now on. Ayaka's event is story type, so yeah, we can get those valuable Chris, I believe they will release the Chamber of Weapons on this week too, okay, so yeah, the 10 man battle, okay, so yeah, because it is the right time to do it, so yeah, I know that they, the video, the official video say that yeah, maybe we will get it on this month, but I don't think we will get it on September because yeah, we just got Arena's trial on early September, so I don't think we will get two trials in the same month, okay? On the third week, we will get a global exclusive units. It is the Final Fantasy IV Arc Fiend. This is very nice because we 
global players also don't get all the Japan exclusive collaboration units so it is time to make them jealous okay however the abilities of this for arc fins are still mysterious however i believe they will be good okay so yeah judging from previous global exclusives such as link a2 then yeah i think it will be they will be good okay i'm still not sure what kind of event it will be but from the info it will be a king mog farming event this is why i think that on last week of september we will get nyx first instead of ayaka because if that happens okay we get ayaka first and then nyx then this means we will get to consecutive farming events so nyx and then this and that's never happened before and finally on the last week of october we will get the halloween event on the past year halloween event is a farming type so i believe it will be the same too on this year however i really hope it is not a farming event because yeah if my prediction is true then it means two straight farming event the final fantasy for arcfin and then this it will really broke that repeat button okay so yeah but yeah it's probably a farming event because yeah on the last year we only get advance as the as a maximum difficulty so we may get the elite difficulty now also we get another exclusive units for this event on the last year we got demon rain dracula's well white witch fina and black cat lit so according to the leak info we will get sakura jack and nicole black cat lit also get six stars awakening so i really hope that she will be good but yeah it seems if you go to the wiki you can see her yeah her ability then she is she seems pretty good to me but yeah let's just wait until that happen on the beginning of november we will get buff noctis i'm not sure whether you need to redraw him again or your old noctis will be buff automatically but i suspect it will be the latter because if not then many players will rage quit okay because yeah it is really not fair if you need to draw noctis again so this is an exploration event type so yeah no need for grinding and it is nice because we haven't got this kind of event for a long time now don't get surprised okay because ariana will come again this is the thing that make me think that yeah the leak is legit because we get this picture like you can see that we get two more ariana so we can create a full ariana party to kill that fucking malboro and it's not a free unit like before the tanker ariana is free to get from raid points but the healer ariana this is the five stars best unit and i believe she will surpass ayaka and probably become a limited unit on this game so yeah in order to suck your lapis dry what's next gummy warrior ariana with wonder woman custom i'm not sure okay enough is enough okay we already got too many ariana okay so let's hope they collab with other singer and on the third week of november we probably get roy story event 
this is very good sign because yeah Roy is another good support buffer type okay so he rivals awakened Ramza on the Japan on the global we haven't cut a Ramza's awakening but Roy appearance is a good thing okay because I believe this mean Ramza's awakening will be available soon after Roy's available on the global I don't think we will get Ramza's awakening before we see Roy okay because yeah if that happens there will be no reason for those who have Ramza to pull him okay so yeah so if you have Ramza now just be patient okay because yeah he probably get his awakening on December or maybe next year okay so good luck on your waiting and on the Black Friday we will get special bundle okay and finally cloud many players love him so much but I don't because in my opinion Final Fantasy 7 is not the best Final Fantasy it's kind of overrated okay but that's just my opinion for some reason I prefer Final Fantasy 9 more than 7 and 8 because 7 and 8 yeah because yeah in 7 and 8 all the characters are about the same okay so only limit break which different but that's different case for Final Fantasy 9 where each character has unique role okay so yeah anyway in this game Cloud is a finisher who rely on single will okay this mean double hand ability will be useful but from what I know that double hand in the global doesn't stack so I think single wielder will be less powerful on the global version but yeah I still I'm still not sure okay so yeah let's just wait until he come to the global on December we will get another Christmas event of course so I believe last year exclusive units will get their awakening there's also an info that tell us that we will get Lorraine on normal banner Lorraine is an X unit on the Japan you cannot get her from summoning so yeah correct me if I'm wrong but from what I know you need to get her X points or yeah something like that the point is she is available on the global as a normal summon which is great okay so yeah please stop complaining to gummy because they are not as bad as you think especially because yeah i just got praise from my free pool all i can say is thank you gummy but no i want orlando or onion knight just kidding guys really don't expect to get praise especially after getting you shit shit from yesterday free pool okay so yeah it's I'm kind of lucky today so also in my opinion Gummy is quite kind they give us yeah 5,000 lapis from the hacker okay so yeah they don't took that 5,000 lapis so I really love when the game went down for any reason okay so yeah I hope that on the next week we will get a prolonged maintenance again so we get an extra lapis I also tired of that Final Fantasy 11 raid event okay also what makes me so excited about the leak is the info that the global will make a collaboration event with Valkyrie profile it's fucking awesome okay I love that game more than Final Fantasy okay out of topic okay but yeah Final Fantasy is not my favorite game my favorite game is Xenogears the second is Vagrant Story and Valkyrie Profile is probably the third okay every character has a story and the battle system is very good in my opinion 
Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and yeah, Brave Frontier Battle System take an inspiration from Valkyrie Profile. However, it is just strange to get Valkyrie Profile collaboration without something big about the game. What I can think is the Valkyrie Profile mobile game will be released globally, okay? So I think it is not possible for us to get a big console Valkyrie Profile game, okay? Because we just, yeah, there is no info about Valkyrie Profile on E3 and Tokyo Game Show. So yeah, probably Valkyrie Profile Anatomia will be coming on global soon okay so yep i think that's all if you have something to share please leave it on the comment also leave what your thought on this link okay are the upcoming events awesome so yeah what's your opinion thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave xvs guide bye bye guys